Hey, hey, riding side saddle. We're back. It's Tammy and Lisa. We're in a mobile studio. We had we, to switch studios we today. Are, we are not immobile. <laughs> we are in a in mobile, a mobile. studio. <laughs> yes, thank you for clarifying. <laughs> We're a mobile I today. That, I said that really fast, didn't I? <laughs> We are in a mobile studio. We had to switch studios. We're in my car, not in Lisa's. There's just so many things. I know. Yep. But you know what? It's all right. We're divergent We're making it thinkers. Work. We're problem solvers, Lisa. <laughs> I am wired for it. <laughs> divergent. Yeah. Well, what are all the possibilities? Uh, we you have a watermelon yeah. next to your Jeep? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we can just switch. Well, we, we can change we can just turn on a dime why wouldn't you have a watermelon next to your jeep isn't that where they go <laughs> apparently here they do <laughs> i'm guessing someone had their hands way too full and it just got set down and that was the end of that i think that the watermelon salesman decided to leave a sample <laughs> it's not a bad sample <laughs> Divergent thinking. <laughs> there we go. So we're on a break. <sighs> it's the end of season four. It is our fourth season. Let me just say that one yeah. more time. Four seasons. One year. Equals one year. Yeah. It is a major accomplishment for us. It is. Um, it, it is. Sticking to this every week. Recording once a week, sometimes multiple times a week, mm -hmm. with very few breaks in between. Agree. That is... Lots of planning. Absolutely. Lots of scheduling. Yep. Yes. Right. Yeah. I don't know that I've stuck to something... Lots of gabbing. I mean, <laughs> that's the good part of it. I don't know that I've stuck to something for more than a year I was outside that of too. my husband. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> my children. Yeah. And my job. Yeah. Like, I would agree. That's probably like the top. I've not been in an exercise class consistently for more than a year. Oh. I've not. I I can't think of anything that I've done every week. Like an enrichment type yes. of or self-care yes. type of thing? No, for sure. It's a big, big, big damn deal. Absolutely. A personal big deal. I don't even knit every week. And I've got yarn sitting right next to the couch where I sit. Yeah. <laughs> It is a big deal. It's a big deal for me, and I hope that it's a big deal for people who listen to. I hope so too. We're having fun. I hope that comes. We're across. doing it anyway. Well, we are. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we we are. So yeah, we're in between seasons, and um, so we'll do a season recap for season four, and then our next snack will be a um, introduction to season five. Yeah, like a little bit of a preview. Yeah. What are you in for? What are you in for if you take this, hitch this ride? <laughs> hitch your a, wagon to for, this? Yeah. <laughs> to this horse? <laughs> Hitching my giddy up <laughs> for season five, yeah. right? Right. Because then, whew. Yeah. All right. So season four, I feel like, and it just happened this way. Um, it wasn't by intent, but we really focused a lot on physical wellness in season mm -hmm. four, I feel like, just with the guests that we had. Yeah, um, yeah know, I would agree with that. We had some firsts yeah. in this season. More than one, even. My husband, our yeah. first boy guest. <laughs> um, our first acupuncturist. Our first acupuncturist. He talked about mast cell activation yep. syndrome. Um, and we chatted about that. And then we followed it up with um, Grounded Roots for Wellness. Again, talking really about things that you don't necessarily correlate to overall wellness for women. That was an eye-opening episode for me. It really was. Yeah. Dr. Erica was talking about the central nervous system and how important it is um, to take care of that whole system. And I have, I have had neck and shoulder pain for decades. Mm -hmm. And I put some heat on it. I take some Advil. I, you know... You manage it. I manage it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's your Take longest a hot shower. Trend. Right, right. <laughs> it goes away a little bit. Sometimes it goes away all the way, but it doesn't stay away for very long. Yeah. And it's it's a constant. Um, I didn't realize how much more difficult I'm making my every single day, every moment of every day, by not taking care of that. Yeah. And 
I think, so it was very impactful for me too. And I think from just a slightly different lens in that, um, again, this falls into the bucket of things that you would imagine that I know, because <laughs> I don't know, it seems pretty basic when I say it out loud. Uh -huh. So I shock myself that, you know, this is a new revelation a new for flash. me. Yeah. yeah. That, that spine and the nerves connected to it Im have impact on every single body yeah. part of your whole body. Right. So and everything you do. Correct. Yeah. And the amount of energy that you expend yes. trying to do it. Yes. Right? Yes. Like, does it take a full tank to do this one task or does it take an eighth of a tank? Right. All based on your central nervous system. Right. Things that you wouldn't necessarily correlate, right? Like again, going back to like divergent thinking and like researching and yeah. figuring things out. If you're having allergy symptoms, for instance, as an example, or if you have a, um, you know, pain in your elbow, you don't necessarily think about the central nervous system having a direct correlation to that output. Right. Right. If you're having adrenal fatigue issues. Right. Never occurred to me that maybe my spine health was part of the problem. Correct. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And turns out when I had the scan, my T12, which is related, I think it's a T12, which is directly related to your adrenals, way off. Yeah. Way, way off. It's why they call it central. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's like Grand Central Station. Oh, yes. I don't know body. why this was a newsflash, but it was. Yes. It was a revelation for me, and I have since started, you know, taking some steps to fix that, so... Good. Yeah. Thanks, Dr. Erica. Right. It was a big, it was a big shift. Yeah. Um, we continued down the path of physical wellness with um, mid-season. We talked to a new friend, Catherine. Yeah. Um, about fluffing your girls, <laughs> sister. Um, so really, it has a lot to do with a couple of things. Like we kind of go figure. We kind of shifted gears a little bit while yeah. we were having our fun conversation, but it started off um, talking about um, lymph system yeah. health right, and things that you can do to support your lymph system. Or to make it worse. Right. Specifically as a woman yeah. um, and some social expectations and standards around, around how you appear and the clothes that you wear. Um, those types of things can actually be um, detracting from your yeah. lymph system being able be to do its job. Right. Yeah. Um, then, of course, we just started talking about boobies, which, you know, <laughs> hey, why not? There's a lot of lymph stuff in your boobs, so. <laughs> Fluff your girls. Yeah. I have done it. I have, too. It's uh, weird. A little weird. <laughs> it, is, it is a little weird. Um, it is. I laughed while I did it. I mean, it <laughs> was. <laughs> I'm like, here I am. Fluff, fluff. Thanks. Love, love. Thanks, Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're like, am I doing this right? But where do you go to find out? I don't think you out? can do it wrong. <laughs> you go to Catherine. That's they, where you go. They didn't look any fluffier when I was done. <laughs> if only. I if think, only it right. were that easy. Right. I think that that like day fluffing your pillow. <laughs> <laughs> fluffing your pillow. <laughs> Both of them. <laughs> your airbags. <laughs> inflatables oh boy yeah so yeah. so we that did focus good. a lot on, we did. on physical health probably more than we traditionally do i know that we kind of sprinkle it in yeah. usually through seasons but this one was heavy and i'm kind of thankful for that Me too. right um and then we were able to sprinkle in a lot of conversations um outside of physical health um, just relationship types of conversations. We had Marcy a couple of times yeah. in this season. Uh, we we opened the can of mothers and daughters. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. That's that's a big one. It is a big one. I suspect we'll be talking about that again. I do too, probably through different lenses, just like generational aspects yeah. um, of that. There's, For sure. I mean, that book, that that's a long-ass book. It is. You can't. You can't listen to that all in one sitting. No. Actually, I I don't know. I'm having some ideas that we'll have to talk about. Oh, yay. Maybe we've got some some more episodes coming up. All right. That are, you know, the ideas are percolating as uh, we're talking here. You're scaring me. <laughs> 
actually quite a bit Scared right myself, now. Scared myself, actually. <laughs> I'm not sure how this will go. Oh, me either. <laughs> Mothers and daughters. Yep. It's a, uh, it is a, it's a tricky little, mm. it's a tricky little relationship. It is. Both with daughters and with mothers. <laughs> and both of them. It's it's a tricky little. I don't think any of those hats are easy to wear. No. Honestly. Agree. I agree. Mm-hmm. Um, we continued our conversation with Marcy, not about mothers and daughters, but about um, about women in the workplace. Um, oh, yeah. Work, workplace women wonders. That's and another I, one. I deliberately put it that way in the title because it does feel sometimes like we um, are expected to and we deliver on wonders. Yeah. Honestly, trying right. to make magic happen. Yes. Over and over again. That. Yeah. That. Um, that conversation, too, can expand into many, many different episodes and different you know, aspects of that environment and, and how women live in that, in for that sure. space. For sure. It, and uh, we talked a lot about um, all of the different um, phases of being a woman and how that is supported or not maybe supported, where we've got some work to do as a society um, to support women in different phases. As I'm reflecting in... Um, just in my head, I think one of the big things that stuck out for me was um, in that episode was the expectation of masking mm-hmm. to be yeah. have one foot in the workplace while um, the rest of your body is trying to manage all of the other um, roles mm-hmm. um, and requirements that you have. But you can't really be completely authentic in the workplace because if you were vulnerable enough to um, say, so listen, this is what's going on outside of these walls, and you did that too often, that you might be cited as, you know, somebody who's expendable, right? Um, And it just... It, it really made me reflect on my years and years and years and years and years in the workplace. Yeah. And having gone through those different phases of my life and how I wasn't able to be authentic, right? And For bring sure. my, as you know, the, the, um, they coined the phrase of bring your whole self to work. Yeah. But you don't set it up so people can really do that. Right, right. Because there's fear of being reprimanded for that. So, oh, for sure. Right. And, You'll use it against me, so yes. I can't. I can't. Yes. Yeah. So that that's, that's a, that was a hard one. I That one still sits yeah. in my craw a bit. I think we'll be talking about that again, too. Mm. Yeah. I don't, I mean, we didn't really have any solutions. We We talked about a few things. I don't know what the solutions are, though, right? I mean, this is this is a societal problem. It is. It is. It, it there's. It's not an easy fix. Um, I don't know. Things move very slowly. I agree with that, and yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. Yep. <laughs> this is a snack, girl. Yeah, I, know. I don't. I I'm know. talking to me uh, right I now. Know. Like, don't make this into a full blown episode because <laughs> you're all feisty today. <laughs> so, yeah. Speaking of f words, oh, we had one. Fear. Oh, yeah. friend or foe. Oh, that wasn't the f word you thought I was going to no, say, was it? It wasn't. No, <laughs> I thought like, it was Shit! your favorite. Where the fuck is she going with this? That one. <laughs> that one. <laughs> Can I catch this? Whatever she's at, whatever, wherever she's headed. <laughs> so we had Catherine, not the same Catherine as you know, Fluff and the girls. No, um, but our friend Catherine, yeah. who has come before and talked specifically about fear, right? Um, not through this lens, but through a different lens of, of intuition and um, kind of self discovery and and those yeah. aspects. And where does it come from? Ooh, and yeah. what and what does it what? How does it affect your like, like it, your life? What yeah. is the impact? It shows it up for me um, so regularly uh, that let me rephrase that. Since 
being having this episode and how she framed it and we talked about it in the episode, I've been able to identify more readily oh. when I am um coming from a place of fear. So one of the one of the things that we talked about um through the an example that we shared in the episode was when I'm thinking too logically, mm. um, it's probably coming from a place of fear mm-hmm. um, because you can justify the shit out of most anything. Well, and you can logic, logic the right. Mo- right, out of yeah. most everything. Right. In fact, one of our avid listeners, um, Heather, who had been a guest historically, yeah. um, she spoke to that in one of the comments that she made on that on that episode yeah. to say, I know when I am living in fear um, because that's when I am using logic as opposed to listening to what my heart wants. Yeah. Who? There I, I am. <laughs> Ballin'. Um, that was really impactful it to impactful. see that message and to know how in alignment our episode was to a right. philosophy of her life. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that was a really good episode. We talked a lot about judgment and shame and what makes you fearful. Yeah. Right. Yeah. The the expectations um, that you put on yourself or that other people who are important relationships put on you um, that cause that reaction. Yep. It's hard. It is hard. It's hard to move out of that space and out of the logic Mm -hmm. and take a step forward when you can't see the ground in front of you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or to establish boundaries, maybe, in those relationships yeah. where they hadn't been there before. Right. So guess what? I know that when I made these decisions or moved forward in this way in the past, um, there was there was judgment around that. And this time, boundary, I'm not modifying my behavior. I'm just moving forward in what I believe I need and want to do right regardless of your level of judgment right that's hard that is hard especially if it is um these are people who are you know very close to you correct and people maybe parents right right siblings people who you know that you don't necessarily want to walk away from right people who have been with you for a really long time your whole life maybe yeah yeah that's hard to do. I I can understand how people, including myself, yep, um, kind of replay that over and over and over and stay in that same lesson. Yeah, because um, it's tough. And then we celebrated that it was a friggin' year. <laughs> that was a fun episode. It was. It was just some of the reflection, I guess, yeah. of things that we How have we got here. personally learned yes. too. And speaking of fear, yeah, yeah, right, yes. Speaking of fear, um, a really, really great example yeah. of how we had to get beyond that. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. I, I think, um, in a nutshell, for that episode, um, I have become much more reflective as mm-hmm. a person. As, um, as we've been doing this, uh, probably more than I have in my whole life. So, um, as a personal point of gratefulness, um, the, like, this is why we're going to do another year. Right. Right. Cause we've gotten a lot out of this personally. Yeah. Which was not something I, I didn't see that coming. Me either. I thought just mostly it would be fun and yeah. we should be talking about topics that are important to individual people, specifically sure. women, because that's who we are and um, that don't really get discussed. And then all of a sudden I start cracking layers and levels of myself open yeah. in looking into deep, dark, dusty corners <laughs> um, that maybe I've jammed full of garbage that I never yeah. wanted to deal with. Right. Um, yeah, so and I'm here it is. I know. <laughs> so I'm for grateful for that whole world to see. Uh, <laughs> I'm yeah. grateful, but, um, it's been, doesn't it's make been it tough. easy. No, I'll still be grateful. Even if it's hard. Most of the time, that's a good combination, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. 
pretty much. <laughs> it's kind of how it goes. <laughs> yeah. You are not grateful at first, but in reflection, Fine. you are. Fine. <laughs> Guess that was the right thing to do. Fine. And then Tammy. Guess that needed to happen. What? And then Tammy. What? At the very tail end of season four, picked a uh, book club pick. Oh, yeah. That rubbed right into <laughs> one of those dusty ass corners. Not because I left it dusty. <laughs> corner i asked somebody else know? to clean that corner and they didn't clean it up to my standards <laughs> yeah we talked about eve rodsky yeah and her book fair play that's right um, yeah that was our book club pick for season four <laughs> where the focus... our book club pick lisa well, <laughs> if you listen back to the recording it was actually yours and i just went along for the ride well, that's not fair. <laughs> take some ownership. Exactly. <laughs> you take some ownership. <laughs> it was a good book. It was. I appreciated certain aspects it's of it. It's one of those things that we have to talk about. It is. And that's why I picked it. Most definitely. I know that it is a hot button. It's a hot button for darn near everybody. Nobody wants to be the one holding all the cards that say you have to do all of the work. Literally, in this case... Holding all the cards. That's, that that that's, is the premise of her book. Exactly. To say um, there are many, 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 many things that we identify as, um, what is it, invisible? Invisible work. Or we don't identify it. Right. Really. At we all. We just do Because things. it's invisible. Yes. Right. Um, that, so she identified them. Yes. And created cards. And most of the time, <clears throat> that invisible work lands on the female Right, the woman or the mother, the caretaker yep. of um, of the relationship. It it lands oftentimes imbalanced. I guess I should yes. say. Right. Um, right. And I'm friggin' tired of it. <laughs> I'm real tired of it. Yeah. It yeah. got me real good and feisty. It did. And it also made me um, skeptical, perhaps, <laughs> of the. You don't say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of the the book in just how uh, very conceptual it was. Well, it, no, I should, should you say that. You said idealistic. Yes, that was the that's term the better used. word. It yeah. wasn't conceptual. It was actually very practical, um, but it was idealistic. Like, oh, yeah, you can do all of these things, but it's probably not going to stick. And well, in two months, I'm still going to be doing the same shit. So why did I yeah. spend my time? And she does talk about that, too, and how important it is to make it a priority so that it does stick yeah it you know it i mean we made this a priority so it stuck it would it would be similar to that where it is it is it is constant checking in it's constant work it is scheduling it's communicating and we both wanted to do this right, right. so that's where it gets a little tricky that. right so getting the buy-in from both partners right. in order to make that all of those pieces work right if i were that's the where partner in the relationship that didn't have all the invisible work how apt am i going to be like hey let's why don't you give me a few of those cards yeah like that that's I not i liked not having to do all of the things or exactly. any of the things or only one of the things and yeah. perhaps my philosophy and value system is in life is that because society says it, I don't have to. So figure that out. <laughs> right. Well, and she talks about that, too. I know. <laughs> it was a good book. It was. it was. And at the end of the day, I have not, I didn't break out the cards. I didn't shuffle them up and ask Josh to play. I don't, I don't. Maybe someday we'll shuffle a few of the cards. Maybe, maybe we won't. Maybe I don't we'll know. save that for a murder mystery weekend. <laughs> and then literally somebody will probably be murdered. Probably. Yeah. It will, there will be zero mystery. Zero. <laughs> It'll be blatant. <laughs> right. This is not going to be a dinner party. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah. So that about wraps up season that was four. Season four. It was a lot of fun and very educational. Yeah. I hope that you enjoyed it with us and came along for the ride. And if you didn't, you can go back and check it out. Sure can. You got you got four seasons to look at. <laughs> Start diving in. Do you know yeah. that people are 
are actually going through. There's new folks. I can very exciting. I can see it um, in our stats, and people are like, "It's so exciting." They're binging, yay! Riding side saddle. (laughs) Wow, binge worthy we are. How about that? Hey, hey, nice. I love it. All right. Well, stay tuned for season five then. Um, That next snack for uh, uh, interviewing, interviewing, introducing, yeah, previewing Mm -hmm. or interviewing. That's how that came together. Introducing and preview, it's interview in oh my, my head. <laughs> Do we have time? Season five. I have a very terrible and hilarious story about how I put together two words uh, completely inappropriately. Yeah. Do we have time for that? Sure we do. Okay. So I um, <laughs> last year I had been uh, working remotely for the company that I work for. Um, so because I work remotely, I don't interact with these folks on a regular daily basis. Yeah. So we had a, a gathering um, at a wine bar. Do you remember this? I remember. Oh my God. <laughs> it's a typical fucking Lisa thing to do. <laughs> we had a gathering at a wine bar. It was very social. My boss was there. I'm, I'm Ooh, team and bonding. Yeah, yeah. Among yeah. my colleagues having a, like a glass of wine. And I was like, it was a glass of wine. Cause I have you to drive to an hour. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So they were talking, I don't even know how it got started, but they were talking about chili like different types of chili. Yeah. And <laughs> the food, not the country. Right. Yeah. Yes, yes. Thank you. The food. <laughs> and I have a particular chili that I really like to make. Um, and it's unique. It's different than most other chilies. I call it kale chili. Um, so I was explaining, you know, <laughs> I was explaining the ingredients <laughs> of this chili to my colleagues that I rarely see face to face. And I'm I'm just a little nervous, right? So... <laughs> I was explaining that what it should have said was, um, you know, I put some some things in it like cumin and other seasonings, and um, <laughs> I, 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 it came out. <sighs> it came out <laughs> semen, like season. <laughs> I said seasonings like cumin, and it came out. Semen. <laughs> they I put looked semen in my. They chili. looked at me like it was the special ingredient that won Blue Ribbon Awards, and my jaw they were horrified. My jaw dropped open. I was horrified. <laughs> they were laughing fucking hysterically. <laughs> you know, I'll just put in oh, seasonings like cumin. I'll just put in semen. Semen. I just put in semen my in my chili. I literally like took my last drink sip, of, sip wine. of wine and said, "Well, gotta go." That is really a mic drop right there. It was horrifying. <laughs> literally a year later, a year and more later, we still bring it up. Like oh it's my if gosh. it's like on a don't eat the Zoom. chili at least. Oh my house. god. She, my boss recently asked what we like most about autumn. So people oh, you are did like, not say chili. I fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking did. I'm like, chili, what else? Because, <laughs> I mean, I said it, and I just can't take it back. Well, no. So, you already said it. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. So That's that went down. Hilarious. Yeah. Okay. That's Sorry. so funny. That made the snack really long. That's but... not, no, it's just a couple minutes. Fucking and it's semen. riding side saddle. We like stories. Semen chili. Yeah. <laughs> don't eat we the don't, chili at We least. don't like semen chili. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little Oh, no, no. Okay, gotta go. Too much, Bye. too much. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>